peatlands, the most extensive category of wetlands in Malaysia, span an area of approximately 2.13 million hectares, constituting around 6.46% of the total land area. Notably, 60% of these peatlands are situated in Sarawak. Given the significant role peatlands play in Malaysia's natural ecosystem, there's an imperative need for their rehabilitation to ensure long-term environmental sustainability. This involves developing a model that transforms unproductive oil palm cultivated peatlands into fully functioning rehabilitated peat ecosystems. If we don't restore the peat, then of course the first thing that we have is greenhouse gases released to the atmosphere, climate change, global warming, and we don't want the haze, the forest fire. So that's why we need to preserve this. We are collaborating with MPOGCF to plant and maintain suitable tree species, including reforestation of non-productive agriculture land and large-scale tree planting program as a nature-based solution to increase carbon sink. For this project development pit rehabilitation model for Sarawak region, we had agreed to fund RM 1.48 million in collaboration with Sander B Plantation for a period uh, two years to rehabilitate 50 out of the 400 hectares located at Lavang Estate, Bintulu, Sarawak. The success of the project is intricately woven into meticulous planning that addresses various crucial aspects. In 2022, Sime Darby Plantations partnered with the Tropical Peat Research Institute Sarawak, commissioning a comprehensive investigation into the peat soil of the targeted area. By May 2023, the project saw the deployment of essential tools and equipment for continuous monitoring, including water level markers, piezometers, and peat subsistence poles. The project expanded its research scope by engaging University Putra Malaysia Campus Bintulu to conduct a comprehensive biodiversity assessment. So we divided the assessment to cover several scopes of fauna categories such as among other birds, uh, mammals, insects, reptiles and amphibians. And as for the flora assessment, our researchers are measuring the adult trees uh, with more than 10 cm diameter at breast height. And we also collected the seeds and sapling of the trees to be used in our trial plots. A formidable challenge confronting this initiative revolves around the careful selection of plant species suitable for the area. In response, stakeholders representing diverse backgrounds came together taking a pivotal stride in the direction of peat soil rehabilitation. The project took significant strides by initiating seedling sourcing activities in Kapit, Cebu and Bintulu. A collaborative effort with the Sarawak Forest Department was undertaken to secure tree supplies for the trial planting phase. In the expanse of 50 hectares, a total of 30,000 seedlings are scheduled for planting, with the ambitious goal of completing the project by 2025. MPO GCF and Syme Darby Plantation aspire to position this peatland rehabilitation model as an industry pioneer. Peatland restoration stands out as a highly effective strategy for carbon sequestration and preventing a tangible nature-based solution to address both the climate crisis and biodiversity loss. This comprehensive initiative aligns seamlessly with the overreaching goals of MPO GCF as it strives to support the implementation of best sustainability practices within the oil palm plantations of Malaysia. By doing this, we can contribute to a better environment and at the same time contribute to the economy of the people of Malaysia. The Malaysian Palm Oil Green Conservation Foundation has been and will continuously initiate, collaborate, support uh, environmental and conservation of biodiversity projects towards a sustainable future.